We are back at it. Uh, again, it's Memorial Day and we don't have a ton of time, so we figured that now would be a great time to try out uh, some barbecue chicken. So we got, um, I bought eight chickens. We got a little impatient and made one of them yesterday on the grill. So we have seven chickens now. We're gonna cut them in half and cook them in halves. Um, and then see how it goes. It shouldn't take too long, um, hopefully, so we can actually cook and eat it all today. Um, so it should be a qu pretty quick one here. Um, yeah, we've got the same setup as the last cook. So I'll be cutting everything, getting it all ready out here, and throwing on the smoker, and we're planning for hopefully, I don't know, three-ish hours, something like that. But we'll see. We've only done chicken once, I think, on here. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. We also had several comments um, saying one of the reasons for the ash might be the fire is too close, or um, or it'd be less ash if the fire was backed up. So here it is. We want to see if that does anything different. A little bit closer to the door, and I did clean out the ash uh, from in there too, so we should be able to have a good idea of what how much goes there, even though it's a little bit shorter than a brisket cook or something. Got them all seasoned up. I am definitely not the uh, best chicken cutter, I realize. Is that what you want to do, or do you want to squish them together a little more? Uh, we should probably squish them together a little bit more. So we got. Seven chickens on there, cut in half. Looks good. Don't mind the dog. Close her up, let her cook. We can take a peek. It's been an hour, I think, something like that. Looking all right. Cooking at about 300 on this end. I think that should do it. Let it keep going. It's nicer out today too, so the the tank is holding. Oh yeah, that's real warm. It's holding heat nice. Not uh, not too windy or anything. We still have the the uh, cheap dampener up there, and our drip pan is still this temporary setup. You can tell we've done a whole lot of work to it. Yeah, I just want to cook on it. We're gonna get to work on it one of these days. Because we are planning in a couple weeks to have a, a cookout here. So if anyone's in the Northern Wisconsin area, come on by. <laughs> Have you been having any problems with the falling of the door? Uh, a couple pieces have fallen close. That's why. I, um, I mean, it's not bad. You have the door kind of closed, so it's not. It's not getting everywhere. It's a warm, warm fire. Thinking a shovel might be in our future. 
get a little bit more distance between uh, <laughs> our hand and faces. We've just been putting it off for too long. Take a look and temp, temp these chickens. How are they looking? All right. Dark meat. And the skin is nice and chewy. <laughs> We're at 166. I'd like to go to go a little farther. Yeah. I'd say we're on track. Not much longer. Probably one of these guys. The breast here. One fifty-nine. This is dark. Oh, that went all the way through. Yeah, I think we just let them go a little longer. Know, maybe thirty minutes. Should be ready to go. Oh man, getting a little color on them. Looking gorgeous. Let's try this one. It's 171 on the leg thigh. Not quite. Let's just see. That's a big one. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Press it on. Yeah, yeah, let them go a little longer, I guess. I won't show those, Alex is uh, <laughs> slacking. Oh, be careful. There we go. It's definitely different doing this during the day when it's not freezing. Let them ride a little bit. I don't want to pull them early. Leaking chicken juices. Stack them. Stack them up. Yeah. Oh, losing all the juice. Don't drop them. Right in there. All right, let's. You got it. I got it. Plate of chicken. Freshly smoked. Got the others. 
real quick. Country style ribs. Phoenix. Pretty peppery. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get to eating. 